This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Cagle versus Harris. Ms. Cagle, it's my understanding that you are suing Mr. and Mrs. Harris for injuries you received at their ice cream shop. You're asking this court to award you $60,000 for past medicals, $20,000 for future medicals, $120,000 for pain and suffering, for an award of $200,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. and Mrs. Harris, you own Lucky Licks, the ice cream shop where this happened, right? Yes, Your Honor. You all believe that if she hadn't done what she did, she wouldn't be injured, right? Yes, yes Your sir. Honor. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. What brought you to this ice cream shop this day? Well, Your Honor, it started off as a really great day. Some friends and I met up to do some shopping in this new town that we hadn't been to. As we were walking down the strip, just looking at the shops, we saw this ice cream shop that outside, it looked and smelled delicious. And I love ice cream. Ice cream's the food of the gods. It There's is, no doubt about it? that. It's my favorite food. I could eat it every day. And my girlfriends love it too. It's one of the things that we bond over. So we had to try Lucky Licks. Well, tell me about Lucky Licks. Well, Your Honor, we are a mom and pop ice cream store. We've been in business for about 10 years ten now. Years. Right. Um, time. We love our customers. We treat them like family. They What's always special come back. about your shop? Our exotic flavors, Your Honor. We have uh, shrimp cocktail flavor. We have pickle. Shrimp cocktail mm -hmm. ice cream? Yes. 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 Okay. It's a whole salty sweet thing. You know. Yeah. That's our best seller. How about dill pickle? Yep. Dill pickle ice cream. Buffalo that's chicken. You like one. buffalo sauce? Oh, I like it all. Anything yes. that's not bolted down. You love down. the buffalo chicken. You like tomato, <laughs> tomato soup? <laughs> buffalo chicken ice cream. Yep. Buffalo chicken yep. ice Don't knock it until you try it, Your Honor. That's right. So you go to Lucky Licks. How did you get hurt? Well, Your Honor, uh, my friends and I were sampling a bunch of the different flavors that they had. And right when I was about to order, I realized how badly I had to use the bathroom. So I headed to the back, and when I was done, I went to flush the toilet. And Your Honor, I'm a germaphobe, and like a lot of people like me and tons of people all over the place, I decided to flush the toilet with my foot instead of my hands. So I, I balanced myself on my right foot and reached up with my left foot and, and pushed down on the flusher. And um, Your Honor, when I did that, there was this like intense explosion. The noise was absolutely deafening. There was porcelain flying everywhere. I didn't know... The actual toilet exploded. The toilet exploded. I did, at the time, I didn't know what was going on. I, I thought maybe there was some sort of earthquake. Um, there was porcelain hit me in the face. It hit me in the arm. A piece of it cut open my left foot. Um, I was in so much pain, all I could do was scream. Uh, there was blood gushing everywhere. I felt so woozy. and. Mm. I tried to scream louder to get my friend's attention to get some help. Uh, they, they came into the bathroom when they finally found me. It was right before I passed out. I had to be rushed to the hospital and I was in emergency surgery. Your Honor, the blast from that toilet was so forceful, I now have permanent scarring on my face and I've lost two of my toes. Is that your foot? That was caused by this exploding toilet? Yes, Your Honor. Ice cream shop with exploding toilet. How does this kind of thing happen? Um, I remember that day very well. We were having a special that day. It was a uh, buy two scoops, buy two, get, one, get free. one free. Yeah, right. we always get a lot of customers that Very day. Very popular. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do remember her and her friends coming into the shop. Uh, they seemed to be having a good time. I think they'd been doing some shopping and they wanted to sample. Every single flavor. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But that's what people do, right? Do. When you've it's got these right, exotic right, right. flavors. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. You give them that little spoon, that, right. that not quite enough spoon that people give you, right? right. Yeah. How do y'all know something has gone wrong? Well, the plaintiff comes up to check out. She wanted to know where the restroom was, Your Honor, so we pointed down the hall where the restroom was. And okay. she took off to the restroom almost before I could even get out of my mouth. So... Well, that's I mean, what people do when they gotta go, right? Right. Yeah, I guess she, she, had, she really had to go. She had to go bad, obviously. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. but she, so it was probably, what, 10 minutes yeah, later? Yeah, at least, yeah. Yeah, and we hear this enormous explosion. Right, right, it was la and so loud. And this blood-curdling scream. Yeah. So then what did you do? Well, pff, everybody in the in the shop just was startled. We Nobody didn't know what, what the heck, heck was going no, on. No, we didn't, we were So her friends took off down the hall right. to the bathroom, and right. I, I jumped over the counter. I don't know what's going on in the back of my shop, so yeah. I follow her down the, um, follow her friends down the bathroom, and she's in the corner of the bathroom, 
covered in blood, Your Honor. Yeah. Right next to my toilet yes. that's in a million pleat pieces. Yeah. There's paper towels everywhere. Yeah, this was a mess. It, it, was, a, it was a major mess. I we, called 911. He, he called 911 yeah. and then... That's a responsible thing to do. Yeah, we, yes, tried, we tried to help her as much as we could until the paramedics arrived. Well, I see a lot of bizarre things as a judge, but not people losing toes on an exploding toilet at an ice cream shop. Why isn't this your fault? She, she caused, caused yeah, the toilet to explode, it. Your Honor. She's the well, one. Well, how do you do that other than dynamite and a sledgehammer? Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> because, Your Honor, she put the paper towels and yeah. the and the towels and in the toilet. Do we you have clearly have a sign paper? on the wall that says, "Do, do not, not put, put trash, trash in the, the toilet. toilet." Your Honor, I and did that's not. Why, your did Honor. you see that sign? I did, Your Honor, and I did not put trash in the toilet. What did you put Obviously in there then? Did. Toilet paper that was provided by you. Well, when we found you, talk to me. When we found you, you shouldn't have put it in. Talk to me. We're going to have order in this court. Your Honor, we have the sign on the wall. So this is posted on the wall. It is posted Very on clearly. the wall. Very clearly. Miss Cagle, did you see this sign? I did, Your Honor. Did you throw any kind of trash in that toilet? Other than the toilet paper, which was provided in the stall, I absolutely did not. She admitted to putting her foot on the toilet. That's what damaged the tank. She had on these open, open toe high heel shoes. High heeled her shoes don't make a toilet shatter into a million pieces. Do you see how thick this is? Talk to me. Your Honor, do I look the size of a person who could cause damage like this? Well, I, frankly, I wouldn't think that Sheriff matter. Mack could make a she toilet. She used explode. her foot no, no. on the toilet, Your Honor. If most people are honest, mm -hmm. we're kind of germaphobes. You use your foot and all that pretzelizing that we do yes. to try not to touch yeah. the handle. But she puts her foot on the handle pushes the handle down, she's supposed to do that, and you think that's why the toilet well, no, exploded? No, sir, the, the, the toilet exploded is because she put enough pressure with her foot to cause the pressure needed for the toilet to explode. I mean, this is a very special toilet if you gotta monitor the pressure you push down, right? <laughs> Well, she she admitted to kicking the toilet. Your Honor, I did, did not. Did you kick this toilet? I did not, Your Honor, and I never said that I kicked the toilet. Did you this use your foot, foot to dress me? The... Oh, she used her Folks, foot. She admitted you to see this. Foot. This yes, is what I use when y'all talk to each other. So if you hear a loud bang, that's because you should be talking to me. So talk to me. Yes, Your Honor. Now, did you push down on this like a jackhammer? No, I did not, Your Honor. I'm grateful I didn't use my hands. I wouldn't have my hands if I would have used them. No. Mm -hmm. Ms. Cagle, you have submitted $60,000 in medical bills to this court, and you've asked this court to award you another 20 for future medicals. The burden has been substantial. The, the future bills, um, I don't have balance anymore. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I'm relying pretty heavily on this podium to stay standing. I used to love riding my bike and doing yoga. Can you step into the aisle and be careful? I don't want you to use your crutches, but just lean on the podium. I want to see what your balance is like. <laughs> okay. But stay near the podium, because I don't want you to fall. Try to stand on that foot. That's it? That's about all I've got right now, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, ma'am. You all see that uh, these are major injuries. I mean, you don't grow That's toes right. back. But We've no, been in business yeah. for 10 years. This has never, never happened. happened. Mm -mm. I built that shop from the shingles down to the floor with my bare hands. I do every single repair because I installed everything yep. in that shop. We have never had nope. an incident like this. Your Honor, I, I would also like to add that uh, when my friends and I first entered the shop, my, fir my friend, the first thing that she did is she went straight to the bathroom to wash her hands. Before you went? Yes, before I went in there. She came back and let Mr. Harris here know that the water pressure was very low, and Mr. Harris said that he fixed the problem. Mr. Harris, so Ms. Cagle's friend comes and says that the water pressure is low. What did you do? Yes, Your Honor. I, I went in and I adjusted the pressure. Again, just like I have done multiple yep. times. And it was, it was repaired. Everything was fine. So you all believed with that adjustment, this toilet was going to be safe? It yes, always sir. has been. Yes, yes sir. sir. We would never yes, do anything to harm our customers or anyone. So you all had no idea that this would explode. It never happened before? No. No, never. sir. Never. Folks, it's no secret that an exploding toilet is beyond the average experience of most people. Because it's that issue in this case, this court has consulted a physics expert named Katie Lowry. 
Sheriff Matt, will you get Miss Lowry from the hallway? Yes, Your Honor. Good day, Miss Lowry. Hi. We got an exploding toilet here today. Can you tell us how that happens? This is actually an extremely rare event. And all of the conditions and variables that came together to make this happen, it just created a perfect storm. So the pressurized water bladder is connected to a holding tank. And that holding tank is pressurized to about 60 PSI using compressed air. It's a closed system, and water being incompressible can handle that type of pressure. In this example, because of that repair, air was allowed into the system. Air being compressible uh, acts like a spring. And when the valve shuts off, it basically imparts energy upon that water. That water then rushes into that air gap and produces a vacuum on the end that's closest to the bladder in the toilet. That vacuum basically very forcefully pulls that water back into that vacuum space, creating a water hammer type effect, which creates that type of explosion. Well, how does a toilet like this differ from the toilets in my house that are just I guess it's gravity. So when you're talking about commercial space, you have to pressurize it, make it more functional for multiple uses and things like that. Okay, so how does someone just flushing the toilet <laughs> cause the tank to explode like that? I actually brought a demonstration to show this water hammer type effect. Oh, please show us. <laughs> Explain why <laughs> that happened. So we have water and we have an air gap. Right. And basically by tapping the top, you're causing that water to move up into the air column, which produces a, vac a very small vacuum in the bottom of the bottle, but it's enough basically to forcefully, large impulse, forcefully bring that water back down to the bottom of the bottle and it'll burst out the bottom of the bottle every time. Into and that that's what happened space. in this toilet. Absolutely, the exact same thing happened. Now there's testimony in this case that the pressure was changed or increased. Is, is that the same as tapping it with a hammer? Yes, exactly. In your expert opinion, who's responsible for this toilet exploding? The fact that air was allowed into the system in that repair and that air gap that was trapped, that's, that was the main reason why this incident occurred. So if there was a plumber called, a licensed plumber, would that kind of professional know about this air pressure situation? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, ma'am, you're released, we appreciate it. Was there anything about Miss Lowry's explanation of how this happened that surprised you? All of it surprised All of it, me. Yeah. We have never seen no. anything like that mm -mm. before. Miss Kago, did your friend put trash in this toilet? As it, far it just as seems I... kind of weird to me. She says it's low pressure. You go in and simply flush it with your foot. It explodes. Y'all talk, you asked about whether she put trash in there. Are you sure your friend didn't put trash in there? Well, Your Honor, as, as they stated, it was a busy day at their shop, and we were not the only people in the shop to use the restroom. Well, it, it was functional all day, sir. And then she so goes, no problems no, the whole sir. day. No, and then not she, until she goes he changed in the there. Pressure. Not until he changed the water pressure was there an issue. Uh, we're a mom and pop right. shop. Right. Do we keep everything. I'm never going to walk again. Because of his mistakes, Your Honor, he could have just called a real plumber. Your Honor, it's a very oh, unfortunate... Yeah. Folks, I think I've heard what I need to hear. I'm ready to render my decision. <laughs> Folks, I've spent my professional life in personal injury cases. And while the facts differ in each case, the things that have to be proven do not. You as the plaintiff, you've got to prove three things. You've got to prove that the defendants, the people you sued, they're wrong. You've got to prove that what they did wrong caused your injuries. You need not offer one more speck of proof about your injuries. You've been severely and permanently injured, and I'm really sorry that this happened. You got to know this is bizarre for everybody that's heard your case, particularly for you, because you've had to pay the price. But just because you're injured does not mean that you win. You gotta prove they did something wrong. Now this is a classic premises liability case. That is, you're on a business's property and you are injured. You as the plaintiff have to prove that they knew of a certain hazard that you didn't know about and they didn't warn you or take precautions and because of that, you were injured when things fell apart. Here, you all adjusted the pressure on this toilet. Now, had you called in a plumber to do that, it would be the plumber's fault. But what you did is you cut corners. 
Y'all should have gotten a plumber because the results are disastrous if you don't. I find that you have proven that the defendants were wrong and that they're wrong caused your harm, and that's why I'm going to give you everything that you asked for. I find in your favor and am going to award you $60,000 for your past medicals, $20,000 for your future medical expenses, $120,000 for pain and suffering, for a total award in your favor for $200,000. That is my final verdict, and this matter is adjourned. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Terry Crouppen has to say. We understand defendants wanted to handle their own repairs around the store to save money. But here it was an expensive mistake. This wasn't a home toilet, but one in a commercial establishment open to the public. So there was a higher standard of care and duty to protect invitees on their property. With a licensed plumber, this probably never would have happened.